Holy Friday, often called Good Friday. It is hard to call it good when you examine the scene that scripture paints for us, a scene of agony and death. And yet we know that from the cross, Jesus is not being defeated, but he is gaining the victory for us. That victory is summarized by his dying acclamation, it is finished. Words of profound meaning. Indeed, we could say that the entire testimony of Holy Scripture, the end point of the very covenants of God, all of them find their culmination in this one act. This is a great period at the end of every sentence of Holy Scripture. It is finished. But apart from that context, it would be easily to underestimate the impact of these words. Reviewing the scene on that Black Friday makes us realize that many others would have said these very same words on that very same day. The soldiers, after their dreaded execution shift was over, no doubt said to themselves, it is finished, now to go home and rest. The crowd, now that the hideous entertainment was done, thought to themselves, it is finished. Judas, when he realized the enormity of what he had done in betrayal, thought, it is all over, finished. Peter and the disciples, after three wonderful years of ministry in Galilee and Judea, then denial and desertion, must have thought, it's over. It is finished. The priests, having seemingly come through a really tricky business, must have thought to themselves, we've managed it. It's finished now. However, no one could say it the way Jesus said it or mean what Jesus meant by it. The other gospel writers give us a clue. All of them say Jesus cried out with a loud voice, but only John records what he said. One word in the original language, tetelestai, a cry of triumph, satisfaction, and victory. Finished, accomplished, done. Jesus is in complete control, despite agonizing pain that we must never minimize or dismiss. It was real pain, real thirst real death but this was no resigned victim it was a reigning victor everything in his life and teaching was in anticipation of the finished work of the cross his birth the announcement that he was born to die his baptism his introduction as the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world his temptation was to avoid the cross, and throughout his ministry he set his face toward Jerusalem and thus toward Golgotha. So the good shepherd was knowingly laying down his life for the sheep. Blood was shed, the body broken, the sacrifice made as Jesus died, the righteous for the unrighteous to bring us back to God. Finish. When the last moment of the last hour of the last day of his earthly life came, he had completed God's mission and message to humankind. The greatest example of determination, perseverance, and obedient love the world has ever seen. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my heart my soul, my all. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.
Amen.